Press it down a little bit. Don't like you know smash it down. You want to press it just to make sure it's touching the grates. Okay. So Like you said, we're going for medium rare to rare. Oh, uh, it's also medium, right? So I don't know what's done. Anyone? Feels one way. It's the foolproof way to temperature. Uh, the best way is high temperature. That's the best way to temperature. Alright? Um, there's a couple things you gotta keep in mind though. When you're cooking your steak, even any other kind of meat, you're letting your meat rest afterwards after you cook it. Okay? So you gotta look at it this way. When it's resting, it's gonna cook up another five degrees, five, ten degrees. So when you check the temperature, you gotta make sure you're pulling it early. Alright, so let's start from, let's start from a warm up, right? Because most people, they're like, oh, 165, oh, it's well done, it's good to go, right? But then it's dry. So if you pull that at 165, you're really eating, by the time you're eating it, it was cooked all the way up to 170, 175. It's dry, right? So you want to pull it around 155. That'll give you a nice well done, right? After the rest. So, well done, you're looking to pull around 155. For uh, medium well, around 145, 150. For medium, pull it around 140, right? Um, for medium rare, pull it around 130, 135. Rare, probably around like 125, right? That's and when then, you like take, said, take it take off. Take it off and let it rest, okay? Now, 